What's going on everyone? This is Jacob Shoup. You're watching the Tom O'Brien Show. I hope you all are having a good day. Of course, so, uh, we're kind of down right now. Uh, some major contractions right now in composite off about 2.42%. Dow Jones Industrial is doing okay, comparatively speaking, off about 0.5%. Uh, the DXY cracking down below that 104 level, trading at 103.94. You have the E-mini off about 1.56. Gold contract contracting a little bit as well, uh, along with silver, which is off about 3.29%. Maybe that's had some major moves to the downside the past two days, trading at 32.95. Uh, uh, you know, I would, I would think if you have this kind of contraction from essentially within the composite, these large caps that you would see maybe some capital shift over to the Russell and you're just not, that's off about 1.07%. Bonds are down price-wise. Disney is like, well, basically, in my actual personal portfolio, is the only thing that's green today, which is hilarious. Uh, but it's trading at 96.38, kind of shifting around that 95, 96 area. Okay, you know, I mean, big news, right, is you have... Meta selling off, you have Microsoft selling off. Let's talk first just about Meta quickly because I have more to speak about on Microsoft. Uh, so we're off 4.3% right now, trading at 566.58. They reported weaker than expected user numbers and warrant of a significant acceleration in its infrastructure expenses in 2025. And that's something that you guys should think about when you're looking at any of these companies that are going to be hyperscalers and AI, the CapEx. Uh, for building out uh, you know, land infrastructure, getting these servers working. That is going to be a very strong uh, increase in, in capital expenditure. And of course, we've been saying that. We knew this was going to happen. Um, but I think the market just, for whatever reason, momentarily didn't like that. Meta has some other issues, again, with less than expected uh, user count. Uh, but regardless, their EPS was 603 versus 525. Revenue was 40.5 billion versus 40.3 billion expected. Sales in the third quarter jumped 19% year over year while net income grew 35% to 15.7 billion. That's from 11.6 a year earlier. It is lower year over year growth, but they're still smashing like the earnings on this. And that was the same with Microsoft as well. But you know, I wonder like partly, I don't feel strongly on it on, on Meta. Um, I wonder if they'll go through some kind of split at some point here, especially at this price point, but I definitely feel it for Microsoft, right? We'll talk a little bit more about that. Meta, Meta also raised capital expenditure guidance for the 2024 fiscal year to between 38 and 40 billion, which is up from 37 to 40 billion previously. Additionally, the company said it expects capital expenditures uh, to continue to grow significantly in 2025. And again, that is due to acceleration in infrastructure is our AI investments continue to require serious infrastructure, excuse me, require serious infrastructure. And this is Zuckerberg speaking. I expect to continue investing significantly there too. Said so the total expenses for the FY 2024 is going to be in the range between 96 and 98 billion. That is lower than previous guidance. Advertising revenue came in at 39.9 billion for the quarter. That's up 18.7% year over year. Advertising accounted for 98.3% of Meta's total revenue in the third quarter, which is kind of intense. Uh, yeah. So then really, let's just, let's talk about Microsoft because I do think this might be an interesting time to get into the stock almost. Um, if, if I were going to approach it this way, I'd probably buy some leveraged ETF on it, like MSFU. Of course, you want to hold those like super long. Um, but I think you you might get a nice bounce opportunity from here because there's nothing that's exceptionally wrong. I mean, they're still doing what we expect them to do. Let's talk a little bit about Microsoft first off. Okay, I'm gonna just pull over this stuff here. So this is for what they just released. Okay, so revenue was up 65.6 billion. That's an increase 16%. OI was up 30.6 billion, increased 14. Net income 24.7 billion, increased 11%. Diluted earnings per share uh, was 330, increased at 10%. So that did beat expectations. So 365 commercial products and cloud services revenue up 13%, driven by 365 commercial cloud revenue growth of 15%. What I really want to do is kind of get down uh, to here. 
Yeah, so if you're your growth, at least in 22% from Microsoft Cloud, which is huge. LinkedIn was a great acquisition, right? Up 9%. Xbox content and services, which is going to, they just acquire that. So you get a mass CapEx in the past, at least because of that, right? I believe they spend something around 60 billion um, for essentially Activision Blizzard, which is going to, which is now under the Xbox license. Uh, additionally, with that ownership, I was actually kind of, Interesting is I don't really get advertised a lot of video games or whatever, um, but I was watching uh, some Joe Rogan interview, and at the very beginning, they actually were advertising Call of Duty, and I don't think that's a very prominent thing that had that was done you know in the past, right? Where they kept much more just within the realm of video game players. Um, I mean, going on something and paying for a spot on Joe Rogan right in the beginning, especially with a guest uh, like he had on, I uh, can imagine was was cheap in any capacity. So they're definitely ramping up investments, uh, at least in advertising. Uh, Azure and other cloud services, this is up 34%, which is nuts. And then what we can do is just go over to their outlooks. Seeing, yeah, again, gross margin percentage of 70%, Azure and other service revenue, a growth of 31 to 32%, right? So a little bit lower, right, than this 34%. But still pretty fantastic. Um, and again, you're going to see, uh, let me see if I can, this is just the appendix. I don't know what happened to my other slide for it. Let me see. Oh, it's sold. There's another slide that I had. I guess this was the wrong, it is on my other computer. It doesn't matter. The point was is that they are also increasing CapEx, um, essentially, to build out this AI. And that is no doubt going to pay off, you know. So... I think my only hesitation in doing something like leverage ETF right now, like such as MSFU, is, yeah, I can see a bounce from this level for sure. I think this is a pretty strong reaction to this. I think the company's prospects are virtually unchanged, right? We all knew they were going to spend more money, so I'm not really sure what people here thought was going to be different in before guidance. Um, Although I could also see a realm where you just get a slower kind of crawl right back up, which makes me a little bit hesitant to jump in and put a bunch in. I think I also kind of want to wait for Amazon as well uh, to see how their cloud business is doing uh, with AWS. Folks, stay right there. We'll be right back with Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle.